In this video, I'll show you how to add a progress bar to your videos in vid.io. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. A progress bar is a good indicator of how long your audience has to watch your videos. We all know that the attention span of people online, especially on social media, is not that good. Therefore, to keep your audience engaged, adding a progress bar can be one of the ways that you can improve engagement for your videos. I'll show you how to add a progress bar to your videos in v.io. Now, when you have your project open up in v.io, it's pretty awesome. Just click on elements. And from this section, we have a couple of options, shapes, emojis, progress bar. If I click on view all for us to see the number of progress bars available, we have the line, we have the box, we have different options available right here, including circles, countdowns. Uh, this one is counting up and different options available. So let's say we begin with the default. When we select the progress bar style, let's click on this. This is mostly what we get. We also now have the option to change the style from rounded to rectangle so that the edges are rectangular. And this is what you see most of the times. Once you do that, you can now change uh, the progress bar and set it where you want it. Let's say we want it up there. Then we can just adjust this to run across from this section and then to run across from this particular section we can also bring this down so that it touches that section we can also change the color let's say we go with maybe something like a more uh, like a purple color looks good that looks good you can also set the duration of this particular clip to where you want it to be and when you set it there and click on this it tends to adjust to that particular section so really depends on what you want and you can delete the progress bar. So if we actually play this, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is David and let's get into today's video. That's what the progress bar looks like. Now for the different styles available, you can use that. If we click on this, you can see the different options available. There's a circle. And for this one, you may want to add it maybe somewhere here so that your viewers can see what is going on. If we actually play this video, welcome back to my YouTube channel, it looks something like that. If you actually look at the other options, especially for the border, this one is a good way, especially uh, when you want to add this to use the border of your video. Let's say we, we have something of that sort. Let's bring it somewhere there. Looks good. And then we take this from the beginning. If we play this. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. What happens? My name is David. And let's get into today's video. It looks really, really awesome. Can keep your audience engaged and give you a very good effect for your videos. Uh, we can also do uh, this is the reverse border to reverse the progress for this, uh, that it begins from those sections and let's get into ends in the different positions. And then there's one that I'd like to show you. Uh, there's the rainbow border where you have a couple of uh, different colors here. Let's see. Welcome back to my YouTube really channel. Good. My name is David. Different colors and let's get into for different video. sections. More or less, the rainbow colors are just flowing in really really awesome it's up to you to think of what you want to create with your videos when you add the progress bar in v.io but that is how you can add a progress bar to your videos using v.io thank you so much for watching this video until next time stay safe never stop learning